back here reviews and saying, well, um, I don't have much time. I'm going to explain very quickly. Basically, what happened is, instead of doing my Spider-Man review, I was going to do this because I was just looking back at my old videos. I remember I did a five facts about Home Alone 2 video while I was, like, really young. And I was just like, why didn't I do Home Alone 1? And I said, well, I have the time I have. Let me go ahead and just do Home Alone 1. So, I'm just going to look at a random article on BuzzFeed and find my phone somewhere. I'm, we're just going to do this. Number one. I'm going to put a link to the article down below. But, uh, number one in this article is, without Uncle Buck, there would be no Home Alone. Now, I didn't personally know this. That's a little weird. But it says that the idea of Home Alone occurred to Johnny is during the making of Uncle Buck, which also started with Kelly Culkin. Always game to play the precious one. It's a scene in which Culkin's character interrogates a potential babysitter set through a mayor's slot in Home Alone. Culkin has a similar conversation with Daniel Stern this time via a doggy door. Huh. That's interesting. At number two, the fact about Home Alone that I just ended up getting from a YouTube video is uh, that they got a stuntman for the part where Kevin is sliding down the stairs and right out the door. His name was Larry Nicholas, and he was a stuntman for that part because you already know a little child didn't do that. At number three, the fact I learned about Home Alone is that all of John Candy's part was filmed just one day. The late John Candy, uh, who's also going to be the voice of Shrek, I believe, uh, was just all in one day. Well, he's a pretty important character in the story, and I didn't know they only shot it all of the scenes in one day. The thing I didn't know is that when Joe Pesci was doing the scene with Kevin, when he was threatening to bite his little pinky off, he actually bit down on his pinky, and now he has a mark. Macaulay Culkin has a mark from that to this day. At number four, I didn't know that Daniel Stern, the player of Marv, um, actually had a real tarantula on his face. And for that one scene. They only did it once. So that's the first take, which I think is pretty good. But also, he has a mime of a scream because he actually screamed the spider would have been scared and bit him. So... <laughs> At number five. The player of all the special effects in this movie was just a guy in his mom's basement making this because the budget of Home Alone was very, very tight. And he, like, charged about $300, $500 an hour, and that was good for the studio, so they went ahead and did it. Um, the ball, when he shoots the ball, was hand-painted by him, the artist, and hit when he hit Marv. And also the floating heads, everything was done by him. Pretty sure he's kicking himself right now that he didn't charge more. I also got that from the video. I'm sending a link down the video down below. Uh, guys, I don't know if that was five, but I hope you enjoyed all the facts. And I'm curious, you know, we're not without a doubt.